Yo, I'm Bob. Totally blind since birth into Star Wars, talking about Season 2, Episode 11 of The Bad Batch on Disney+. 27th episode of the show overall. Spoilers ahead. Watch the episode before listening to my thoughts. Jumping right in. And you were warned. So the episode title is Metamorphosis. Even before I watched the episode with the accompanying audio description track, I loved the title. It gave off serious horror movie vibes to me anyway. I wasn't sure what we were going to see. But I like how the beginning of the episode, it really felt like Alien or maybe Aliens. If you've seen those movies, I'm sure everybody has by this point. You've got that smoking, sparking science vessel that limps out of hyperspace. You got the commando on board. He's fleeing for his life with that shorting electro staff there and he's grabbed by an unidentifiable something so being a fan of the old star wars expanded universe new jedi order novels when i first watched the episode my mind went to the voxen a species that was shaped by the yuzhan vong and i was thinking okay well we were supposed to get an arc with those guys in the clone wars before that was shelved so is that where we're going here in this episode um, I can't I can't help going back to uh, a lot of the old Legends books when watching these shows. And that was, of course, apropos with this episode, because we are taken to Mount Tantus here. Because you have a very sinister cloning facility here. Maybe it also serves as the Emperor's storehouse, as it did in Timothy Zahn's Thrawn trilogy. Um, we saw Tantus at the end of season one as well. The audio description track identified it as a mountainous forested planet. And that's where Nala Se was taken. We see her again in this episode as well. Now, when I watched the season one finale and the location was mentioned, I had hoped that it was indeed going to turn out to be Mount Tantus on Wayland. Of course, they confirmed that in concept art. If you go to StarWars.com, you click on the Camino Lost episode guide. There's a little concept art gallery there, and the, the art is labeled Wayland Facility. Now, me, you know, I, I don't really do concept art because I can't, so I had no idea this was confirmed right after the episode aired. I've been left hoping that that's what the planet is. I guess if I'd uh, gone to StarWars.com, I probably would have found that out over a year ago. <laughs> what has it been like, uh, I don't know, two years now, actually. So we get to meet some new Imperials in this episode. They're trying to get the creature back to Tantus. So we get to meet Royce Hemlock. I hope that is a fake name i i i have never heard such a uh, such an interesting campy uh, imperial name in star wars I, I like to think palpatine has some kind of handy dandy random name generator no one's supposed to know anyone else's real name on on tantus uh and you know that's what the the handy dandy random name generator came up with for this guy i like his character I think his name is a bit goofy, but uh, he's a very sinister, very creepy doctor here. And he straight up threatens Nala Se when the episode starts. Like, hey, you know, if you don't want to help us, uh, things aren't going to go well for you. So she's, she's still not wanting to cooperate. And we find out that Lama Su is still around. I hoped that he was still around when he was last seen in season one. And yes, he is being held on Coruscant and he's going to be brought to Tantus in this episode because something's got to get done. Nala say has got to be forced to help. So the Bad Batch, they play into the episode as well. They've got to track down this down science vessel. Sid was tipped off about it. So they go to see what they can see. These guys haven't brought one iota of treasure to Sid in season two, I don't think. Uh, it has been 
one failed mission after another for these poor guys. They got to be broke by now. And this episode is no exception. When they track down the vessel, they, they find the beast. And as the episode goes on, I like how the creature gradually transforms. It's going through a metamorphosis, as, as the title says. And um, I had no idea this episode was going to be a callback to the Zillow Beast two-parter from The Clone Wars. I don't remember the beast feeding on electricity in the episodes at all. I feel like this is a new concept. Uh, it climbed tall buildings in that two-parter. It chased Palpatine. It ate starfighters. I suppose it could have fed on the energy from the proton bomb when it woke up. Uh, I'd like to think Dojuris mentioned something about it. I've seen that two-parter quite a few times, though, and for the life of me, I can't remember as to whether or not it was mentioned that it does feed on energy in those two episodes. So that's why I was having trouble identifying the creature right away. But uh, yeah, when Tech and Omega, they do some research in the down science vessel, they find out this is a clone of the Zillow Beast. And I love how this story arc is picked back up. At the end of that two-parter, Chancellor Palpatine tells Dr. Bull that she is to clone the Beast. And here it is in this episode. Of course, the Imperials, they find it, they capture it, the Bad Batch gets away with nothing. And uh, I really love the the Emperor's dark designs here in this episode. He's still trying to weaponize this creature. And this thing is just crazy throughout the episode. You know, blasters don't affect its its armor, of course, as it continues to change and grow as it's eating energy. Um, let's see here. Sounds like Rex and Echo will be going on a fact-finding mission at some point because the Bad Batch is going to let them know what just went down with the clone Zillow Beast. They're going to try to have to figure out where this facility is. So hopefully we'll be seeing everybody showing up on uh, Wayland at the end of season two. I have no idea how this is going to end. And uh, we also get to see Lama Su. He shows up on Mount Tantus there on Wayland. And uh, he lets... Dr. Hemlock, I love that name. He lets Hemlock know in order to get Nala Se to cooperate, you're going to have to capture Omega, and then she'll probably do what you want her to do. And that's how the episode ends. I like the stuff with the Zillow Beast in this episode, but I have to say the highlight for me was Wayland and Mount Tantus. I love reading about this world in The Last Command and the other books in the Thrawn trilogy way back in the day. It was one of my favorite locations just because it was the Emperor's store, storehouse. It's where we got to see the, the cloning cylinders during the Thrawn trilogy. It's uh, where Luke Skywalker had to duel a clone of himself. It's where the insane Jedi Master Jorah Savioth was. And hopefully we'll be seeing more of this maybe in live action at some point down the road, if they're setting things up for Thrawn in in live action, you know, during Ahsoka or whatever the big major crossover event is, I would like to think this is probably going to be a key location in that. Or who knows what they're going to do with it, though, because, you know, this is this is new Star Wars territory here. You got no idea what John and Dave and everyone else who works on this stuff, what they're cooking up. So I can't wait to see that. I give this episode a 10 out of 10 just because of the Imperials and uh, the, the whole dark science thing they got going on here. I liked Emery Carr. She seems to be an interesting character. She was voiced by Keisha Castle Hughes. I liked Bob Bergen back as Lama Sue. Cool to hear Gwendolyn Yeo back as Nala Say. <laughs> Jimmy Simpson voicing Royce Hemlock goes without saying. What a creepy character he was. Uh, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anyone. Oh, you've got Dr. Scalding here. That's another interesting Imperial name. And uh, she's voiced by Helen Sadler. I think we saw her at the end of season one. But just a fun episode, a very dark 
horrific episode. And I guess next time we're going to be talking about The Outpost. I've seen the episode uh, due to my root canal and, you know, severe tooth pain. It's It's been a while since I've been able to review this show. Mandalorian has come out, but uh, I plan on talking The Outpost next time when it comes to Bad Batch. So be here for that. Force be with you. And by the way, Dr. Royce Hemlock, I hope you get eaten one of these days. You weird, creepy character, you. <laughs> Hear you next time, guys.